Imagine Earth, our home, blown up to the size of Jupiter. Jupiter, the king of planets, dwarfs our world. It's 11 times wider than Earth and over 300 times more massive. If Earth were that big, our familiar continents would stretch over unimaginable distances. The Pacific Ocean, already the largest ocean, would become an expanse so vast it would take months to cross. What we call long distances would take on a whole new meaning. A trip from New York to London, a long flight today, would feel like traveling to the moon. The sheer scale of this super Earth is mind-boggling. It's a world where familiar geographical features become colossal landscapes, and distances we know become journeys of epic proportions. This is not just a bigger Earth, it's a fundamentally different one. Its very nature would be transformed. The physics of our world, the forces that shape our reality, would be dramatically altered. We'd be dealing with extremes of gravity, atmosphere and geological activity, creating a planet unlike anything we know. The exploration of this Jupiter-sized Earth is a journey into the unknown. It's a thought experiment that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of planets, life, and our place in the cosmos. It's a chance to imagine a world where the familiar becomes alien and the very laws of nature are rewritten. Gravity, the force that holds us to the ground, would be the first noticeable difference. On our Jupiter-sized Earth, gravity wouldn't just be stronger, it would be crushing. Instead of the gentle 1G we experience on Earth, we'd be dealing with a bone-jarring 2.5G. This means a 150-pound person would feel like they weigh 375 pounds. This intense gravity would have profound consequences. Our muscles would struggle to support our increased weight. Our bones would be under immense stress, prone to fractures. Even our internal organs would be strained, working overtime to function under these extreme conditions. But gravity's impact goes beyond our bodies. It would reshape the entire planet. Mountains would be lower, crushed under their own weight. The landscape would be flatter, molded by the relentless pull of gravity. Even the flow of water would be affected, creating sluggish rivers and vast shallow lakes. Gravity would be the invisible sculptor, shaping the very form of this super-Earth. If the gravity doesn't get you, the atmosphere might. A Jupiter-sized Earth would have an incredibly dense atmosphere. The air would be thick and heavy, pressing down on everything with crushing force. Imagine the feeling of being underwater but everywhere, all the time. This thick atmosphere would have a profound effect on the climate. It would trap heat, creating a scorching greenhouse effect. Surface temperatures could soar to hundreds of degrees, making the planet uninhabitable for humans. The air would be stagnant, with little wind to circulate the heat. The sky, always overcast with thick clouds, would be a constant reminder of the oppressive atmosphere. Jupiter, being the biggest planet, gets its name from the king of the ancient Roman gods. The high pressure would make it difficult to draw in oxygen. Our lungs, designed for the thin air of our current Earth, would be overwhelmed. We'd need specialized breathing apparatuses, similar to scuba gear, just to survive in this alien atmosphere. Beneath the crushing atmosphere and relentless gravity, the Earth itself would be a hotbed of geological activity. The immense pressure within the planet would create a molten core far larger and hotter than our current Earth's. This would fuel intense volcanic activity, spewing lava and ash across the surface. Earthquakes wouldn't be mere tremors, they would be planet-shaking events. The shifting tectonic plates, driven by the immense internal heat, would trigger earthquakes of unimaginable magnitudes. The landscape would be constantly reshaped, with new mountains rising and old ones crumbling under the strain. This super-Earth would be a world in constant flux. The ground would be unstable, the air thick and hot, and the sky perpetually overcast. It's a planet where the forces of nature are amplified to extremes, creating a hostile and ever-changing environment. The very ground beneath your feet would be a reminder of the immense power contained within this Jupiter-sized Earth. Could life exist on this super-Earth? It's a question that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of biology. The extreme conditions, the crushing gravity, the dense atmosphere, the intense heat, would make life as we know it impossible. 
our fragile human bodies wouldn't stand a chance. But life is resilient and adaptable. Perhaps in the depths of this super Earth's oceans, where pressures are even greater, life could find a foothold. Creatures with robust bodies, capable of withstanding the crushing weight, might evolve. They might thrive on geothermal energy, feeding off the heat from the planet's core. These life forms would be alien to us, unlike anything we've ever seen. They'd be shaped by the unique conditions of this super Earth. Their biology a testament to the power of life, to adapt to even the most extreme environments. Their very existence would challenge our preconceived notions of what life is and where it can flourish. Could humans survive on this super Earth? The answer, at least in our current form, is a resounding no. Our bodies are simply not built for the crushing gravity, the dense atmosphere, or the intense heat. We'd be crushed, suffocated, and roasted alive. But what if we could adapt? What if we could engineer our way around these challenges? Imagine genetically modified humans with denser bones and muscles capable of withstanding the increased gravity. Picture advanced breathing apparatuses, allowing us to extract oxygen from the thick atmosphere. Think of heat-resistant suits, protecting us from the scorching temperatures. These adaptations would be extreme, pushing the boundaries of our current technology. But they highlight the human spirit of innovation, our drive to overcome challenges and explore the unknown. It's a testament to our ingenuity, our ability to adapt and thrive even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Living on a Jupiter-sized Earth would require a complete overhaul of our technology. Our buildings would need to be reinforced to withstand the increased gravity and the frequent earthquakes. Our vehicles would need to be redesigned to navigate the rough, ever-changing terrain. Even our tools would need to be adapted to function under the extreme pressure. Transportation would be a major challenge. The vast distances would make conventional travel impractical. We might need to develop new forms of transportation, perhaps utilizing advanced aircraft capable of flying through the dense atmosphere or tunneling systems that burrow deep beneath the surface. Communication would also be difficult. The thick atmosphere would interfere with radio waves, making long-distance communication unreliable. We might need to rely on satellite networks or develop new forms of communication that can penetrate the dense air. Exploring a Jupiter-sized Earth would be an adventure unlike any other. Imagine expeditions lasting months, even years, to traverse a single continent. Picture explorers braving treacherous terrain, dense jungles and vast shallow seas. Think of the thrill of discovering new life forms, adapted to this alien world. Scientific discovery would flourish. Geologists would study the planet's dynamic core, unraveling the mysteries of its intense geological activity. Biologists would marvel at the alien life forms, unlocking the secrets of their unique biology. Astronomers would gaze up at the sky, observing the cosmos from a planet with a vastly different perspective. The exploration of this super-Earth wouldn't just be about mapping new lands, it would be about expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It would be a journey of scientific discovery, technological innovation and human resilience. A Jupiter-sized Earth would be a world full of mysteries. How would its magnetic field function, protecting the planet from solar radiation? What would its weather patterns be like, driven by the dense atmosphere and intense heat? How would its internal structure differ from our current Earth with its massive molten core? The formation of such a planet would be a puzzle for astrophysicists. How could such a large, rocky planet form in the first place? What would its orbit around the Sun be like? How would its gravitational pull affect other planets in the solar system? These questions highlight the vast unknowns of this hypothetical scenario. It's a reminder that we've only just begun to scratch the surface of our understanding of planets and the universe. A Jupiter-sized Earth would be a challenge to our current scientific models, forcing us to rethink our assumptions and expand our knowledge. A Jupiter-sized Earth would be more than just a planet it would be a universe unto itself. Its sheer scale would create a diversity of environments, from scorching deserts to vast shallow seas, to towering, if somewhat squashed, mountains. 
Each region would have its own unique challenges and opportunities for exploration. This super-Earth would be a testament to the power of imagination, the ability to envision worlds beyond our own. It's a reminder that the universe is full of possibilities, of planets and environments far stranger and more wonderful than we can currently comprehend. The exploration of this Jupiter-sized Earth is ultimately a journey of the mind, a thought experiment that pushes the boundaries of our understanding. It's a reminder that the universe is vast, mysterious, and full of wonder, and that there's always more to explore, to discover, and to imagine.